told you about that uh, as we turn to weather. I'll throw this in real quick. We told you about the the mess, the water main break in River Ridge at Citrus and Generis. Well, Generis north of Citrus will be closed tomorrow, but Citrus itself will be open before morning. There's a temporary repair done, and the permanent repair will take about seven to ten days. So there you go. And good luck about that. Yes. Hopefully, no major traffic issues in the morning. But there'll be heat in the morning. Oh, there's going to be heat. The main thing is during the day, it's going to be another really hot day, though not quite as bad as today. We had record highs today. So here is a look. How hot was it? We got up to 100 degrees in Hammond. We got up to 100 degrees at Audubon. That ties the record high. In Baton Rouge, all the way up to 103. That's not the heat index. That is the actual temperature. And of course, we had a record high over at the airport. But after all of that heat, look at this glorious sky. Crepuscular rays brighten sin in that twit pick. And an amazing sky here. Alex sent in this one. One more to show you from Colin Landry. You can see over the the man checked that beautiful sunset. So at least after such a hot day, it was a beautiful sunset. Here is a look at our temperatures now and 79 at Bogalusa, 82 at Slidell, 83 Gulfport, 85 Bell Chase in the lakefront. So it's still warm, nothing like today. But when you factor in the humidity, we still have a heat index in the 90s, 95 at the lakefront and also at the airport in Bell Chase, 92 at Gulfport. So the humidity very high and you can definitely feel it. Overnight, low temperatures on the North Shore dropping into the upper 70s. Same thing for the Mississippi Gulf Coast. South Shore, a mixture of upper 70s, but mainly low 80s and along the coast, mid 80s. So a warm start to the day. Then our high temperatures, mid 90s to the upper 90s. We may even have a couple of 100s thrown in there. So a hot day, but not quite as hot. Here is a look at the forecast for the heat index. Gives you an idea. Noontime, we're all feeling like it's about 103 to 105. Going into the afternoon, we're seeing 100. And eight degrees. That is the heat index. And that's the criteria for a heat advisory when the heat index reaches 108. But at times it could be higher. Then as you go into the evening hours, it begins to go down. It begins to get a little bit more comfortable. So the heat advisory through 7 o'clock tomorrow. Believe it or not, there is a weak cold front that's going to get into the area. We could actually have some drier air moving in. But there is a marginal risk for severe storms. To me, it looks like it's going to be more late in the day. We can look at what's happening right now. The rain has really dissipated. We did have a pretty good thunderstorm over in Homa, knocked out the power, caused some real problems there. And then we had some rain and storms to the north. They pushed to the south and have pretty much dissipated. But they may set up a boundary to help with the rain tomorrow. That's why we've got this marginal risk for severe storms. What we have is this front to the north that's going to push southward and we'll have rain and storms developing along it and then moving to the south. We also have this old boundary and that's what the models are kind of picking up on that that could cause rain and storms to fire up in the morning. Upper level high now in Texas and you can see the flow around this upper high and that's why our rain chances will be higher tomorrow. Look at this lightning strike. Mike and Jeff sent that in in Homa. So as we look at this forecast, the potential for rain and storms in the morning, according to this model, and then later in the afternoon more develop. I tend to think our greater chance will be in the afternoon hours. Here is the big picture with the cold front heading to the south. That potential for storms to develop. High temperatures tomorrow, mid to upper 90s. Going into Wednesday, maybe not as hot with some drier air. And then Thursday, looks like those high temperatures will be in the low to the mid 90s. All right, let's look at that exact cast and give you an idea of what I'm expecting. So I think the better chance of rain and storms in the afternoon, 3 o'clock, from the low 90s to the mid 90s, depending on whether you've got that rain. Going into the week, I lower the rain chances for Wednesday and Thursday. Could have drier air in place. And then over the weekend, it's about a 30% chance of rain and not as hot. How about that? Low 90s. That sounds good.